Hey everybody. How's everybody doing? <clears throat> I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Today I'm going to make sunflower. I know it's winter. A lot of you guys are into your winter scents. I just haven't gotten there yet. I have some out there, but I haven't gotten there. Maybe I'm delusional and still trying to hold on hold on to summer, but anyway, I am doing a sunflower soap. Nature's Garden Sunflower. And uh, I did a really pretty soap yesterday. I can't remember what scent I used, but it was pink, and I did a in pot swirl, and I was rocking it. And then I looked at my video camera and it wasn't videotaping. So I'm going to do that again today. I was just blending up my oils, room temperature. And I am doing room temperature lie also. Both of them are room temperature. So I just added that. Give it some blasts. And I noticed that sometimes at room temperature, when you add your lye, you kind of get thick. You see how thick that is and gloppy? But just keep blending it. I don't know why. But if you just keep blending, it'll be fine. See the difference? So I don't know why it does that. Or if it just does that to me, but. And I'm using a yellow oxide and a brown oxide. So let me add my fragrance and my jojoba oil. You know, sometimes florals can accelerate our batter. So I'm hoping this doesn't do it. So far, so good. Just make sure I have the scents and the other oil mixed. It's a nice consistency. So far, so good. So everybody out there is probably trying to get ready for the holidays. See a lot of videos with the, some really spectacular things. I love watching your guys' videos. I love it and I learn so much from it. So let's pour some in here for the brown. I'm not going to go totally crazy. Maybe a little bit more. And then I'm going to put in my yellow oxide mixed with a little glycerin. Stir. I hope that's not going to be just yellow, but I hope it's not going to be too gold. Maybe with the yellow of the base, so let's try that amount. It's a little goldy, but I think it'll be fine. Oxides tend to clump, and then I do blend it with my little frother. Still a really 
nice consistency. care about the yellow being on there because it's just going to go into brown so it's not going to alter my color at all Pretty brown. I think it's gonna look really nice through here. Through the yellow. Still, it's just now starting to get a little thicker. Still very in pot swirlable. So let's go ahead and get started. High up and change hands. So all the way down. Straight across, again there, and there, a little bit more on this side, because I just want a little bit for the top. And spoon, and this is where it's hard. Put your spoon in at a color that you poured and just go around once where you put the spoon in, take the spoon out. I know we want to swirl more, but actually it's going to do it in here. So let's pour and move, pour and move. take long at all. Let me bring my video. Actually, it's my Android phone. I have a, my husband bought me a camera and I just haven't mastered it yet. But here it is, and here's what it looks like swirled. So you don't have to swirl it anymore with the spoon in the pot. 
because sometimes it just ends up getting a little too muddled. So just go around that one time and remove out. And then I'm going to frost it with the rest of that, the remaining, and then drizzle a little bit of that if it's dribble, dribbly bowl enough. How funny. Let me show you the soap that I did yesterday. Oh, I remember. It's a Juicy Couture. But I have glitter on the top. And I crinkle cut. And that's in the pot swirl. So you get a beautiful swirl. Just leave it alone. But wanted to show you that too. And I don't know how long the frosting is going to take. So... I want it kind of thick. And then I'm going to put a cute little kind of a greenish glitter with, it's got some red. I think just a mixture, but it's really pretty, and I think it'll be pretty on top of there. It's getting there, but not quite. So I will show you tomorrow while I am cutting. Okay, grace in my heart and bows in my hair. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.